All right. To continue my fall down the rankings, uh, we are going to Las Vegas in the Xfinity car. Uh, I've got the OSR setup, free setup, and I have loosened it up a ton, but have not done many laps. So, kind of just throwing what I think we're going to need at it, um, just because normally they end up a little too tight for me in the center off. So I have done some adjustments to that, and we're just going to see what we get. And that is why I've lost about 500 I rating over the last week, is just because I do stupid stuff like that rather than uh, knowing what I'm doing. But uh, we got a massive field. That will add to the fun. And... Uh, well, 90 laps. I think we've got... Do we have any friends in here? I see a lot of names that I recognize, but I don't know if it's because I hate them, or because they're on Discord, or maybe both. Um, I don't see any, you know, like, people that I absolutely know. can't remember if he is... Let's see. I guess we'll see. If he's got a uh, setup shop, then we know. But I feel like we might know him. I know that we just raced him a little bit ago. Was it in the league? Maybe not. Um, anyways, yeah, we're going to see what we can do with essentially no practice. Um, so number six... Probably just gonna start at the back, just because I have no idea what this thing's actually gonna do. Um, but yeah, we'll get some practice once Q gets switched over, just so that we're not. If we do spin, we're not wrecking anyone out. Fresh on paint schemes. I did change the paint just a little to help it out, um, and probably won't even be anything anyone can notice. But uh, load it up real quick. Maybe. Sitting on pit road, and uh, yeah, so what I did was just added black in the windows, and I think it helped it out. The red was a bit much up there, just the tiniest change. But let's go feel this out, see if I need to throw any more adjustments at it. Uh, air temp is 71 need to feel out the tape as well. It looks like tape's pretty low on this, but that can be a first pit stop, first caution adjustment. So the front end feels really bound up. Which is worrisome, because I never do well with that. I feel like we're really hauling here. I mean, it's not like I'm going to set fast laps, but it just felt like we actually had power in a NASCAR car. NASCAR vehicle, NASCAR race car. I know people flip out when people call them NASCARs. So 
we're about eight tenths off right now, but also no tape on, so pretty sure 30.0s are what people are running for full times. So all I've done is adjust the, the front bar. Uh, that's, I know that the way that people like to set it up for the front end geometry to, I don't know, there's something that I don't understand with it, but everyone likes to max that out. But for me, it just causes massive push. I know I kind of screw up the front end when I change that, but it tends to help mid to late run. trying to just run the hell out of this on RPM to see if we can add more tape. So really overdriving it. The bumps are kicking my butt though. I think later in a run we're going to have to move up the track. go five more percent of tape. Pretty sure we're going to be under driving it big time. The start of the run, we're up to 251. Daniel's rule is two degrees for every percent. Temp is starting to climb. Yeah. Okay. 20 seconds left. I want to hop out and just see what these tires were. We got 95, 96, so that's really not terrible for as hard as I was pushing it. Let's go up to 65. We'll go eight degree climb, and we're gonna start 26. So that's good. Oh uh, no! Now I know. This guy, yeah. Now I know why we remember the name. So, um, we're going to just try to stay out of it. Don't get caught up in things. Maybe James Harris is someone we know. Has anyone sent us a message? No. Um... Do we have everyone's main schemes loaded? We do. Let's uh, hop in and One left to green. hope we Line don't get wrecked the by the guard. setup Keep shops. Hopefully right we're just nowhere near them. Yeah, he is. All right, the 26. He sent something on you Discord. Have three additional sets of tires for this race. Be smooth and have a good run. Didn't even see. He's in the league. He's ran some league races, and I 
didn't even recognize the name because I just am. I'm name blind, I guess is what we'll go with. Can instantly forget someone. Jet stop nine, car. Jet stop twenty five, car. Jet stop twenty four, car. Jet stop twenty nine, car. Jet stop sixteen, car. Jet stop. So, uh, for week thirteen, right now, plan defense based off of what I know we're going to do for sure. Monday, this is next Monday, so the 3rd, I believe, March 3rd, um, 8 p.m., we're going to do a Talladega shootout, the second one. So that is with the 1987's fixed setups at Talladega. Three lap shootouts, winner moves on, then like E through A mains with the winner moving on, and then I think we get like four people move on or three people move on into the A main from the B main to get a 10 car six lap final. It was really fun last time we did it, so hopefully it'll be a good time. But uh, then... Thursday, we're going to do the Legends, like the Rookie Legends, Advanced Legends, at uh, Long Beach, and have fun there. This guy chose to start at the back and then is going three wide on the start, just an absolute idiot. Just an idiot. Clear inside. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. So, yeah, we're gonna do two races at Long Beach with the Legends. Standing starts. It's pretty fun to get off the line with those. And then, uh... If Kern comes out, probably Friday night, do a 200 lap race there with late models. And then Sunday of week 13, we will uh, start the K5 Championship Season 4? Season 3? Yeah, it'd be Season 3. Uh, with the new late models going to short tracks, heat races, mains, and then uh, long A mains with 18 car fields. So, you gotta race your way in instead of qualify in, but then with the smaller fields, the race should go by fairly quick. Should be less cautions. No qualifying though. Random draw to set up the heat races. That should give people a chance to maybe get a weaker heat and be able to make it into the race. Or make a fast guy not be able to quite get into a transfer spot and have to go through a B main. So, just something different since we got many people of different talents in the league. One car having some massive issues. That's the second time he's gotten the wall. I'm just feeling the car out though. Trying not to eat up the tires. I mean, amazingly, we're still green, so. Oh man, bad nose push over the bumps. Need to either get lower or go higher. But directly over the bumps is not a good idea. Two guys at the back are really, really backing off. 
so I don't know what their plan is there. There's no way they're that slow. But maybe that's the quick way to do it, is go extremely slow. Since there's not a whole lot of lift off, and then be quicker when the tires heat up. But I think if we don't finish in the top 15, probably going to end up in the 3000s for I rating. I should have done a practice pit stop when I was practicing the qualifying, but we still got a long ways to go before pit stops. We can make it to halfway, so don't have to do any thing too crazy on strategy. Temps are way below what we were having because we're not pushing it as hard as I did in qualifying. We're catching up to this midfield and uh, I guess some people are starting to fall off already. But in order for this strategy to work of be slow then go quick we need long green runs to the end. be really slow. I might have screwed the setup up massively. We've got last lap on, so that is why it's green. Just at the edge of draft range. down there. Yeah, I might have completely broke the front end on this. Still trying to rack up here. Weird wiggle as I got onto the straight. Had to wait on it massively there since we were on the bumps. Yeah, it's still getting really tight center. That guy's getting loose off. Another guy in the wall. They're trying to get a yellow. I'm not sure what is going on here. Three wide, and they're hooking each other. I don't know 
know why you would try three wide up the middle when everyone was really crunched together there. Just lift off because this guy's going to try to block to save from losing time on his mistake. I mean, the car on the inside was so high up and the car on the outside was so low, there was barely space to get his front end in there in the first place. down on exit. Feels really quick. Car I mean, I don't know what that was, but either he didn't know we were there or was going to try to do a late block. Maybe he was looking at Michael and tried to get to the inside of him. murder people off the corner if it keeps working like that through the center. Eventually it's not going to turn, and I'm going to eat the wall. But right now we're good. We're in 23rd. Pit window is going to be opening in about 20 laps. We're still trying to wreck up here. Still trying to wreck. They're still trying to wreck. They did it! They finally got each other. About two, one and a half gallon short. Go a little bit further on tape, I think. Just a couple more clicks. I don't want to go too far, because eventually we're going to have to start racing hard. Now open. But yeah, uh, the field gave each other a lot of damage throughout that. I don't think it's going to matter much, but they were... Definitely wanting to make as much contact as possible. Felt like we had a uh, pretty good control of the midfield with the way we were driving. Get boxing five, three, two, one, right here. That line that I found later helped 
8387. Not terrible. That's it, go. They want you in single file. So, fuel-wise, three-gallon short at the moment. Get star three, car. Get star eighteen, car. Save as much as we can here. One left to green. You'll be lining up. We've only used 0.2 gallons, so dropping in and trying to catch the field is not gonna do us any good. One minute thirteen point zero. Two gallons short, we can't save that much, but Delayed green if this guy doesn't get back to where he needs to be. I don't know why he didn't stop at pit exit like the other guy. But now we just got to take it easy again. Let the tires come to us. A lot of people got some damage fixed, it looks like, because we did gain a bit. Maybe we try to go for a bit. About to go I just don't know if there's going to be, like, a breakaway. The car is off. Be ready. Can't see the leader. Green flag, green flag. Missed a shift or had a delayed shift there. Not a missed shift. We're just gonna go for now. See where it sorts itself out. Oh my god, this guy's slow right now. And the wreck end. And yeah. Unfortunate. Doing a good job. Keep it nice and smooth. Pass up 22 car. Now this changes things on do I come in and get fuel? Pit roads open. Because now it is to the point where we could stretch it. <clears throat> I think we're going to go for it. Even though we're all the way up into 13th. I think we are going to come in, top off. And know that we can make it. Or be close. Why not? It's not like we're uh, hemorrhaging I rating. Five, three, two, one. Right here. We're done. Get going. They want you in single file. 
0.6 short. Catch up, seven, cops. We've used point one. Just stay out and not come top off again. Especially since short caution, so we don't want to be in that single file. One to go. Next time by. You're on the outside this time. Could have been a bad decision, but that's what we do on this channel. Try to do something different One than everyone else. Right now we're a lap short. Catch up, 26 car. thing I wanted to do was use my brakes, but... We're going to be about a half a lap short right now, so... I don't think we'll be going green the whole way, but just in case... Try to get our saving out of the way early. And uh, save tires, save fuel. Just get everyone past us. They're all going to wreck again anyways, but we won't have to pit. One more caution lap essentially puts us good to go, so... Point zero, no, point one gallons short. I really hope this goes green, but I mean, they're four wide everywhere, so probably not going to happen. We're going to do big liftoffs. Save everywhere we can. It looks like the 21 is damaged on speed. Point zero one to the good. Still got to go this slow for a while, so. I mean, the good thing about this is we're not wearing our tires. We're not going to be in the wreck. And if they don't wreck, they all have to pit. And we have a good chance of picking up a top five easy.
But I got a lot of saving done there early. We're gonna go a little harder now. and out of the corner. I always forget about clutching. Would that save us? Puts us at point three a lap. Let's make up a little bit of ground here. Out hurting our tires too much. We don't want to get too far behind the leaders because then they can pit and get a splash and get out ahead of us. I mean, I don't believe it's going to go green, but... Not the way they were racing at the end of that run. 0.6 to the leader. Let's see where we're at on this lap after pushing it a little harder, using up a bit more fuel. All right, we're still losing time to the leader, and we're still needing. I don't think we can actually do this from here. As much as I was having to save, yeah, we just need to abandon that. We're not going to be able to do it. It was worth the shot. We saved some tire while we were doing it as well but it's not worth it. We'll get lapped. But I know I can save point zero three a lap, and a lap is point three gallons. So I can save a lap of fuel in 10 laps. Oh yeah, doesn't matter. Unless they come back up on track. Looks like that was Michael. Not going to get a caution. But at least we weren't in that. Now we'd need to save two laps of fuel, so that'd be lap 70 that we'd need to start saving. But as I keep going this hard, it's going to get to be a bigger amount of fuel that we're going to have to save. So we need to think it about lap 60. Are we going to be able to do this or not? Got 
got a ton of damage. Stretch. Big push over the bumps. Need to stay low in three and four. Car's getting pretty tight in the center when I push it really hard, so. Start working that high line cut down now. Hopefully it's there. There we go. It's a weird line, but it's working for me, and it's getting us out of the corner. Set up shop paint scheme so we could just end up wrecked. pressure on the tires there. Kind of back it off. Not run up high, because obviously that was slower, but we kind of needed to do it just to get around them. Air three wide up ahead. We're really, really quick on the long run but that's just from going so slow. I'm guessing we would fall off just as bad as everyone else if we actually went. And they wrecked. The yellow flag is out. Line up single file. And it doesn't matter. All right, tick tires. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Three and a half gallons. And now we got a race. It was all for naught, but worth a try. Now is where we get wrecked. Where I wrecked myself trying to go fast.
Yeah, that guy pits. He's got to pit after us, so. Right here. Yep. All right. Tires, 83, 86. So exact same thing. Okay, go. You only have one set of tires remaining. They want you in single file. Catch up three, car. 36 to go. And we really haven't had much of a long run. We're going to start off faster now. See if we can hang with them after 10 laps, 15 laps. But always worth a shot to try to get on a different strategy. Especially when you know you're not going to win on pace. So, if we're not going to win it, doing the same thing everyone else does, then you might as well try to go do something else and try to win it that way. On luck. But now we got to rely on my racing and aggressiveness. And I'm not very good at being aggressive. Should be starting on the outside. We got to make five positions up get our top 15 cars clean can't say that about most of the field it seems but yeah it's gonna be interesting Car is going to be a little bit tighter since we're not starting out on full fuel. And we've got enough for green white checkers. So, one to go. Next time by. We don't need to worry about that. We just need to focus on being aggressive and quick without hurting the tires. That way we don't have to make up so much ground if we are quicker later in the run. And then decide if and when we take tires for another yellow. Because we're going to be in some weird uh, gray areas there. But fall off has been about a second. So, let's go session best lap. up is hanging back so far. Maybe I'm hanging back just as far. Oh, we gotta be aggressive. Especially when that guy got such a bad start. That was gonna be four wide. Just had to wait. That was close. Yeah, 
had we not gotten aggressive there and turned down, we would have probably got ran into. But a couple free spots. I'm glad the brain decided against going four wide there. That would have been way stupid. Lender 23 Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. So there should be a lucky dog. Yeah, we still have one person lap down, so. Car 24, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. And they are actually two laps down, so. It's like we'll be starting on the inside this time. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Thirty to go at the line. So we're two spots away from that 15th. Obviously, based on I rating, I'm supposed to finish sixth. But I think 15th or better is kind of our. Pete uh, Road is closed right now just even on I rating so that we don't uh, gain or lose. Got actually a pretty strong wind. Didn't notice that at 12 miles per hour. But after the last caution, we had a quick, or after the first run, we had a quick caution. So let's hope that was our quick caution, and then we just get it to the end. Because these, uh, these restarts are all a bit of luck on how the person in front of you does, and just got to guess right and not get yourself hooked.
Alright. Get a good start. See the leader. The pace car is in. Can't see the leader. It's not going yet. Green, green, green. Eleven got a decent start. Just have to hope he doesn't take too long on his shifts. He's really slow on entry, but probably best because our decided to push there randomly. I could have made it three wide, but we'll just wait. And the 11 gets loose going down. And that kills all of our momentum. Like I said, a little bit luck, a little bit skill, and we got a lot of bad luck there. Get the hell around this 11, though. We've cleared him. Set's feeling racy. Sadly, we lost like three spots on that restart. But it did string things out a bit. ease off here while we're in this gap. Try and save what we can. Probably don't have power, we're overheating. Well, the 11 actually screwed us the most, but yeah, it's not the tape, it's the damage that we got from that. Just how the racing has gone for us. If we can get screwed over, we will get screwed over. Not been very fun lately. Stay high to the car on the low side. Clear. The water temp is getting high. I don't think we've. I think we just got damage that's screwing our air, but we're not down on power. I don't think. The water temp wasn't an issue until that contact. Getting high. 
but we're just screwed. We just need a wreck very soon. Water temp is getting high. I mean, as slow as we're going and we can't get the water temp to drop, it's clearly from the damage. The water temp is getting high. So that, that's awesome. No luck at all. And now we won't get a caution, I'm guessing. Hold it at this RPM and keep it below temp. Caution soon before I get lapped. Please. Well, the fifteen blew up. So, we'll at least get that spot. The water tip is getting hot. Just stay high here and hope the leaders aren't idiots. But I can't go any quicker on the straight, so... When the pack gets to me, I'm just going to have to turn down onto the apron. The car inside. The water temp is getting high. Clear. No, we're going to be in a bad position here. The water temp is getting high. Hopefully everyone sees. Still get a lucky dog if there's a caution, but more than likely we're going to be the caution when someone runs into the back of us. Well, they're wrecking, but not enough for a yellow. Just uh, stick with me while we drop to 2,000 I rating soon. Inside, clear. 
Come on, give us a caution. Give me any bit of luck here. About to lose lucky dog, so there we go. We're not even going to get lucky dog now. And we're about to be passed for. 23rd and fall to 24th position. Oh, man. This has been some of the worst luck I have had in a long time. Like, I just want to get a decent video out for you guys. I mean, at least this happened near the end, but it sucked that most of the firsts of the race that we were just putting around saving our tires. Going to be two laps down soon. Get a yellow. Leader's gonna be getting three to go this time. Even if we get a yellow, we just like we gotta try to stay out to get a wave around because we can't get this thing fixed and then get a lucky dog or anything like that. So just get on the lead lap and hope they wreck in green white checkers. But I don't even think we're nope. Yeah, we got a chance. Got a chance for it. I don't think anyone's going... I don't think everyone's going to do... I don't think everyone's going to pit, but... Maybe we got a few spots there. Get this thing cooled off. Taking all the tape off of it. See how many people pit here.
Did everyone pit? Are these just lap cars? Nope. 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 Of course. All right. Well, we got to hope for a bunch of wrecking now. Wait, no. We he's on our lap. We don't get screwed over. We're going to get a wave around. And now we hope for a bunch of wrecking. We're not going to pit. Take the wave around, because we can limp this thing around for three laps and stay on the lead lap. And uh, if they keep on wrecking, we can gain some free spots and maybe get a top 20. All right. We're still OK. Possibly get a few more spots. We just can't blow up as we take the wave around. But we could also lose a spot to the 24 because he was quicker than us, so. But yeah. Coming in is not going to do us any good. Getting on a lead lap so that when people wreck more, we can possibly pass them is going to do more good than us being able to press the throttle down for two laps. So let's just hope a bunch of egos try to go five wide and the whole field explodes. I, I don't know, my luck just terrible. I mean, I should have seen it further ahead that they were going to hit the wall, but then it just instantly, guy in front, and then guy in front of him hits the wall and hits him, and then they're just dead stop and we're in it. It just... There was no way to react, especially when the car was pushing out there, so just really, really unfortunate, but maybe we'll get a little luck here. too hard here. I don't want to add too much. Too much to the water temp. I mean, it's impossible to keep. It's like it closed the entire like we're running 100% tape. Ridiculous. Should be able to coast in. Get some of this heat out of it. No, maybe not. I thought we were closer than we were. There they are. Get ready. Going green. Off. Well, wad them up. Green, green, green. There we go. See people going to the apron. Well, that guy's slower than us, so that's good. But this guy's quicker than us, so. Do we want him to wreck now, or do we want him to wait till the white flag to wreck 
and then hope that we can just sneak on by. Well, they're not going to wreck, are they? way off pace, but it's not going to do us any good. Almost the top 20. <sighs> what a crappy race. Yeah, thanks for telling me. Okay, we'll get them next time. No, no we won't. Have you not been watching? We're not going to get anything other than more SR loss and more I rating loss and just caught up in everyone else's BS. Just no luck. 21st. Go take a look at the wrecks. That just sucks. I assume he's talking to me. What number was he? Charles was... The 18. I don't think we had any run ins with him, but who the hell knows? Oh no, we weren't anywhere near him because he was. We were almost to him, and then Luck decided to start destroying it. I mean, that 11 car. Oh my god. I completely forgot about that. Dude just losing it in front of us the entire restart up in the wall. Thirty-one in the wall. Almost contact. Here's Charles. Snags the wall prediction code. Here's Michael and well set up shop pushing up and slamming him into the wall and then Causing everyone else. Oh man. Charles had a Charles had to dive and then get back on track and then he just pushed up. I don't know how he didn't just destroy the 16. I think that was more prediction code than even contact. 13 lifting off. And then him and set up shop run into each other. 14 into the wall. Our buddy the 11 pushing up and oh that was I was I was talking crap about Charles there. But that was way different looking at it here. I mean it's still not a great idea but the 11 pushes up so much in the corner. That, and that was the 11's fault and not the 18's like I originally thought. Thirteen losing it on the apron, comes up, it's 14. And 21 almost hits the wall, comes down, 21 comes down. He's, I don't know, on a controller? Like, I don't know why he's driving all over the place. Maybe a field of view of 150. Pretty unnecessary wreck. 15. Self spins. Sixteen in the wall. Twenty's headed for the wall. Michael into the wall hard, comes off the wall, 
gets the 16, gets the 24. At that point, you just gotta keep it up in the wall, but you might not have had control. Destroys the 16. No yellow for that. And the 29, putting it in the wall. At least he paid for that. 24. Prediction code. Didn't actually hit the wall. 22's heading up. 14's losing it. They get together. And this is... 20 all over the place and pushes up into the 13 and then yeah we get by that thankfully and then this is just the entire downfall I should have just been aggressive and went three wide on this guy like this entire sequence here just should have went three wide. We had the run, but I was like, no, let's just let's just wait. We don't need to be that aggressive this early. And then guy up ahead starts getting loose. I see it. I back off. Eleven dives down. I'm ready to dive down. Eleven grabs the grass, so I have to hit the brakes. We lose two two spots from that. Okay, fine get going and the 11 once again right in front of us and really slow can't do anything have to go to the outside of him as he gets loose on exit there and then 25 eats the wall and just behind him 15 eats the wall I thought the 15 had got into him and I just no time to react. I should have seen it. But that does that to the front end and means that for some reason we have no air going into it. 15 blinking, 15 wrecking. How are you wrecking on the straightaway? Is he like trying to cause a wreck? Caution. That's a weird one. Maybe maybe it was a computer blink out or something. And that's why he blinked out at that time. 27. Prediction code, I guess. 13 blows up. Seven, getting massively loose again and into the wall. 29, of course, drives off the wall and wrecks the 25. Pretty sure the 29 was a lap down and the 25 was on the lead lap, wasn't he? He was in 19th. Nope, they were racing for position. But. 29, just doing what setup shops do. That's what they're the best at. Put those stickers on your car, you drive like a complete idiot. 27 comes up, hits the 9. Well, getting loose. And that, I assume, is the caution. Yep. And then from there, nothing else happens, I don't think. 17 gets loose, puts it in the wall, but that doesn't get us anything. And, uh, yeah. That was something. Let's take a look at these results. Here it is. We're back in the 3000s now. We gain 11 safety rating. Uh, lose 61 I rating, and uh, just nothing we can do about that. So, it continues. How far will we fall? That's the question. Um, 
we get down to 35. You never know. Luckily, week 13's coming up, so we're not going to do much official racing through that. But And this has been painful. So, I hope you could enjoy that for... I mean, I, there was nothing good to watch in that. The strategies we tried didn't work because they kept wrecking, and then we get caught up in people pushing too hard. So, oh well. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that I can put out some better stuff eventually.